Hello and welcome to WIT AM, a daily look at world, national, and regional news along with sports, campus events, and weather. I'm Brandon Martin. Bill Gates is hoping that people will be able to get a coronavirus vaccine in the same way they were able to get tested this year. The co-founder of Microsoft tells NBC's Meet the Press he wants to see vaccines available in drive throughs However, Gates admitted the logistics of a vaccine won't be easy. Gates predicted multiple vaccines will be given emergency authorization by early next year. However, he said a vaccine's efficiency will range. Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett says courts aren't meant to solve each issue that exists in society. Barrett's opening statement has been released ahead of her confirmation hearing, and she said the public shouldn't look to the courts to help right every wrong in our public life. Judge Barrett says that's how she's approached her duties on the bench. She says policy decisions and value judgments of government are up to other branches. Barrett's confirmation hearing that'll last most of the week begins today. President Donald Trump is resuming his campaign after spending time in the hospital and recovering from COVID-19. He plans to stop in Iowa on Wednesday for a rally in Des Moines. The rally will be at the Iowa National Guard facility in, at the Des Moines International Airport at 6 p.m. One of the two men who escaped from the Sac County Jail is back in custody thanks to an alert off-duty Lakeview Police Reserve officer. 35-year-old Joseph Lee Sly was spotted walking down a city street at about 7.30 a.m. He and 25-year-old Sean Patrick Fryer broke free Friday, overpowering a female correction officer and locking her in the main cell block. Fryer is still at large. He was serving time for domestic violence, and Sly was serving time for domestic violence and sex abuse charges. When we come back, Jason Muller will have a look at your WIT TV weather and entertainment news. Stay with us. Western Iowa Tech's Video and Media Production Program has been awarded an Upper Midwest Emmy Foundation 2019 Student Production Crystal Pillar Award. This award was presented by the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences for Excellence in Production. Even though there is so much against us, you will see me wearing a face covering. And even with my face covered, you will see me as a son, as a friend to everyone I meet, as a fighter for change, as a woman who stands up for what I believe in. So join me in wearing a face covering to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. Because this is one small act of kindness that has the power to bring us all together. Myth. I can party with people as long as they don't have symptoms. That myth is false. As we've seen, up to 40% of people who have COVID-19 are asymptomatic and can pass it on to others. So I'd recommend avoiding any social parties, especially indoor ones. If you want to try to socialize but reduce your risk, I'd recommend meeting outside in small groups, continuing to wear a mask, and socially distancing from others if you can. Then together, we can keep COVID-19 out of school. For ways to keep your community safe, go to backtoschooltogether.com. Welcome back. In entertainment news, Dodgers fans will be able to watch the upcoming National League Championship Series at Chavez Ravine after all. Well, sort of. The team announced they will host drive-in viewing parties next week at Dodger Stadium's parking lots where fans can watch the NLCS on 60-foot screens while listening to the game through an FM radio transmitter. Admission is $75 per vehicle and must be purchased in advance. Concessions will not be available, so fans will have to bring their own Dodger dogs. No outdoor seating will be permitted and fans will be required to wear face coverings should they need to use the stadium's restrooms. The best of seven championship series between the Dodgers and Atlanta Braves begins Monday in Arlington, Texas. Taking a look at today's weather. Today will be sunny with a high near 69 degrees with light winds. Tonight will be mostly clear with a low around 48 degrees. And tomorrow will be sunny with a high of 67 degrees. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. Have a great day.